We will now perform the test for zinc ion. To begin, we will wash residue R10 with five milliliters of deionized water and two drops of three molar ammonium chloride. We will then mix, centrifuge, and discard the wash. We will next add one milliliter of deionized water and two drops of six molar hydrochloric acid to residue R10. We will stir for one minute and centrifuge. This is what our mixture looks like after centrifugation. We will now decant the solution into a new test tube labeled S11. We will save the residue for analysis of nickel and relabel the residue as residue R11. To solution S11, we will add one drop of one molar thioacetamide and one drop of six molar sodium hydroxide. We will then place in a hot water bath and heat for five minutes. This produces sodium hydrosulfide, which ensures sufficient sulfide ion. After five minutes of heating, we will remove solution S11 from the heat and add 10 drops of three molar ammonium acetate. We will stir, centrifuge, and discard the wash liquid. This light gray precipitate of zinc sulfide indicates the presence of zinc ion. To our light gray precipitate, we will add 10 drops of deionized water and then add six molar hydrochloric acid dropwise with stirring until the mixture is just acidic. This is what our mixture looks like after centrifugation. We will then decant the clear solution into a new test tube. To our clear solution, we will add 10 to 20 drops of 0.1 molar potassium ferrocyanide and stir well. We then need to centrifuge our mixture. This is what our mixture looks like after centrifugation. We'll next discard the solution and attempt to dissolve the precipitate with 12 drops of six molar sodium hydroxide. We'll stir the mixture thoroughly while heating in a hot water bath. Our precipitate has completely dissolved and this confirms the presence of zinc ion.